In this video, I am going to discuss the derivation of a discharge over a rectangular notch or wear. So coming to the discharge derivation, so we have to consider a rectangular notch or rectangular wear as shown in the video. So this is a canal and this is a notch, this is a notch we can see and this is the sheet of water that is traveling over the crust and the sheet of water is called as nap and it is the height of that sheet of water which is traveling from the crust capital H as shown in the figure so this is for rectangular notch and for wear it is just drawn like this and the same that H is called as the height of water over the crust and this is called as nap that is the sheet of water and here and here if you consider this is the sheet of water and L is the length and DH is a very small part of the total height of water we are considering it at a distance of H from the topmost level this is important the diagram of this is most important and next we go for let H is the head of water over the crust as discussed just now and L is length of the notch or wear. So this is an elementary horizontal strip of water of thickness dH and length L at a depth H from the free surface of water as shown in the figure. If you look at this figure this is a sheet or the elementary strip of water of length L that is the crest length and dH that is H from the topmost surface of the water that is given here. Then the area of strip will be L into dH. So coming to back to this figure. So coming back to this figure, the area of this strip which is shaded here, the area of this small strip is, this is L and this is dH. So it looks like a rectangle and the area is L into dH. That's what it is written here. The area of strip is L into dH and we know that the theoretical velocity of water flowing through strip is given as under root 2 g h. Already it is discussed in Bernoulli's equation that is v is equal to under root 2 g h. So the discharge d q that is only the discharge of water that is through the strip is given as d q is equal to area of strip area of strip into theoretical velocity and we have to consider the coefficient of discharge here so considering the coefficient of discharge the discharge through that small elementary channel is given as dq is equal to cd and area is already given as l into dh and theoretical velocity as under root 2 gh and remember this discharge is only through the strip dq so if we want the total discharge we have to integrate this dq so that we will get the final discharge q so the total discharge q for the whole notch or wear is determined by integrating this equation by integrating this equation within the limits 0 to capital H because the sheet of water is flowing over the crest at a height H that means we are considering the bottom as 0 and the height as capital H and using simple and basic integration formula we get q is equal to integral of 0 to h cd l dh 
root 2 gh this already discussed so integral of dq will become q so i have written here directly this q is nothing but integral of dq so if you remove the constants c d l root 2 g outside the integration part we get integral of h power 1 by 2 dh and the h power 1 by 2 integration of h power 1 by 2 is h power 1 by 2 plus h1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 within the limits 0 to h and this comes c d l root 2 g h power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 so if you simplify it we get the final value as 2 by 3 c d l root 2 g h power 3 by 2 so now the discharge over the rectangular notch or wear is given by q is equal to 2 by 3 c d l root 2 g h power 3 by 2 so that's all regarding this derivative part hope you understood thank you for listening to this video